channel. Today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cruiser for YouTuber just trying to have a year long no buy. And today I'm going to do a video that I don't know why I haven't done before because as you have seen in the title I'm going to do a full face of Nabla. And if you haven't been here before, <laughs> Nabla is one of my favorite brand, if not maybe my favorite brand. And I have kind of a full face from Nabla. I don't have any eyes eyebrows, eyebrow products, and I don't have any mascara, but the rest, and no eyeshadow primer, but the rest I actually do have, so I thought maybe I should just do a full face of Nabla and talk a little bit about Nabla, and I'm also thinking about doing a review video with everything that I have from Nabla because I think it's going to be a super long video if I do it in the same video so I hope that you will like this <laughs> I hope that you will like some more Nabla content because yeah I love Nabla so I'm going to start with my eyeshadows and I'm thinking of mixing these two palettes the side by side which is my favorite and the dreamy two don't really know what I want to do, but I guess I will figure out something. So I'm going to prime my eyes and then we just get started. And I do also have some eyeshadow brushes from Nabla, but they are not my favorite because it's nothing wrong with them, but it's just the shapes I don't super thrilled about, but maybe I can try to use them today. Um, then I'm going to start with the side by side and I don't know. Because I think I want to do something kind of dark at least. And I think I want to use this one from the Dreamy 2 palette. But like I don't want it to be super super dark. So I'm going to start with side by side. I think I will write in the description which colors I do end up using. So if you want to see there, just scroll down. Maybe I actually should do like a review of Nabla as a brand in this video, but I think it's going to be too long. And uh, I really want to talk like in depth of the things. Maybe I could figure it out, <laughs> but maybe I just going to do two different videos. I don't know. You will see. I think this side by side is the palette that I have most used most this year, or I don't think I know it is. And I do really, really love this. I guess this right now is my most used palette that I have, and also, yeah, it is my favorite palette. And I don't know what it said with like being a more colorful makeup lover to have this palette as a favorite, but it's just so, so good. And I do really love the different tones in this and you can do a really light look and a darker look and I just think it is perfect. It's the perfect palette. But now I'll actually will go into Creamy 2 palette. And I do love the aesthetic about this palette. And I do really love the color scheme or the color story, but I'm having a little bit of a hard time to come up with things. I think it's too many shimmers and maybe like too dark of a matte. Like this one is the lightest one, but this is like too light to do something with. But I do like how it looks. I think I want to take a black one maybe in my outer corner and then taking it the red more like shimmer one from this palette on the rest of my lid. And I feel like since I've started my no buy this year, I have been more mixing different palettes 
than I have done before. Because usually I do not mix palettes because... I don't know. <laughs> I think as a YouTuber you do understand that it feels strange to mix palettes in some way. But like now with my no buy I'm like I'm I'm stuck with what I have so I better just mix them. And I do think I like this mixing life. But I haven't gone that far that I've start to mix different brands. Like I do like to mix from the same brand. Okay, so I'm going with this one, kind of like the black one from the side-by-side um, -side palette. And I don't know if I have any good brush from Nabla. I don't know if I've used this dark shade. I have, yeah, I have, I have like deep and down my outer corner. So we will see how this will go. If it is really, really black, it's dark, but maybe not like super black. That is so how I like my darker shades, like a black shade. I don't like a pitched black from the start because then I think it's kind of hard to work with. So this is a black that I do like and I try to take it up in my crease as well. It feels like I don't know what to talk about anymore when I'm doing my makeup. Okay, I think that this will do, so now I'm going back to the Dreamy 2. And I will take this one, and I hope that it will look good. Maybe I should swatch it. Okay, I swatch it. Yeah. I hope it will look good. And this is one of the ones that are like... Uh, I think they call it a satin shade. I haven't like figuring out why they thought it was like I don't know this different kinds of um, shades I don't really get like either it's a matte or a shimmer in my opinion satins not my guess but it looks good so it feels like I want something light in my inner corners but i don't know what yet so i think we have to figuring that out a, li a little bit later when i have fixed my base but i think this so far is everything for my lids so i guess we just hop into the base so for the base i have the skin realist i have it in color one fair and I have noticed some f a, a thing with this one. I do like it. I wish though it was a lighter shade. And this is the lightest one. I think they have seven that is like supposed to go together with many different skin tones. So like this shade number one, I think it's from the lightest to maybe light medium. I'm not sure, but it, it is sent for like one. Um, I can use this if I don't use a primer underneath because if I use a primer it like fuck, fuck it up and I don't know I guess this is adapting to your skin and when I have something between my skin and this one this is too dark and I, it usually goes good we will see the problem with me um, I am really pale and uh, I do not tan like at all um, so I have no like summer shade and no winter shade 
I am the same shade all year round. In one way that is good, uh, in another way that's maybe not like super great. But as you see, this do you like adapt to my skin? I have a first impression of this one where I did a wear test. And I do like it, it's just, um, it's like on the border to being too dark for me. I need to drag it down a little bit further on my skin than I usually do. And also it needs a little bit of time to like sit on the face. So like, I guess it's sinking in or adapting or what the hell it's doing. Because I do think it's working, but it, it just needs like a little bit of a time to s suit me. But I think a lighter shade would have been good. I get away with it, but a lighter shade would have been so much better. I don't know if you can see. When I was taking it on my neck, but yeah, a lighter shade, I'm all for it. And then I also have the concealer, and this is pretty new to me, but I do really like it. It's the Regeneration Uplifting Creamy Concealer. And I have it in porcelain. The only thing is like this spongy thing. It is not a favorite of mine. I don't get that. But I never think that I've used these two products together. Like the concealer and the skin. Realist. Because now I'm going to use the only thing that isn't from Nobla in this video. Okay, my eyebrows as well, but I'm going to set my under eyes with this Affinity Filter from LH Cosmetics. I have the powder from Nobla, the pressed powder, and I don't like to set my under eyes with that, so I'd use this instead. And I feel like now that the base looks a little bit better, um... It's kind of drying down, or not drying down, but it's not that sticky. But I still want to set it with a little bit of powder, so I use the close-up pressed. Maybe I should for once just say the whole name. Close-up smoothing pressed powder. I have it in light. This is one of the best powders I have ever used. And I'm just... I'm not going to powdering that much because this base isn't that sticky. I just want to set it down because I'm using highlight, bronzer and contour. So for the rest of my face I'm using, I think I've decided on these three. So it's the Skin Bronzing in Ombra, one of the blushes in Truth. Maybe it would be better with Independence. Yeah, I think so. And my favorite highlighter, also. So I'm going to start with the Skin Bronzing in Ombra. And I use this to contour with. And I know that people are nagging on that uh, bronzing and contour is not the same thing. But for me... I think this works as a contour. This isn't that... Um, uh, it's not that pigmented, which I do really love, so it works super good for me to have as contour. And then for a blush. I actually think that I would use Independence. This is a cold tone um, blush I 
And I hope this is well good together with the eyeshadow. And I think it's the same thing with these blushes. They are not like super pigmented, which I think is good because they are easy to build up and get the intensity that you want with it. And the last thing for my face is this ozone highlighter. This, I love this one. I think it's so damn good and I think it just, it just gives a really nice shimmer to the cheeks and it's not too much, but it's not too little, it's neutral glow but at the same time if you have like a super full face I think you still can use this and it's really easy to just build it up because it's going to it's never going to look like it's no chunkiness to it it just glides onto the cheeks really really good and okay, I have my eyebrows left to do, so I'm going to do that off cam. And for my under eyes, I'm going to do something that just fits my lids. Put on mascara and choose a lippy. And I have a lot of lipsticks from Nabla, so it's going to be... I guess it's going to be a red. But yeah, <laughs> I will fix the rest and then I'll come back. Okay, so I didn't take a red one. I took a kernel as a lipstick because I thought it was the best match with the eyeshadow. So this is the finished look. I do really, really like it. I love my base as normal when I'm using Nabla. And now I think that this Skin Realist is... It has sinking into the skin and it has depth more. I, I don't know, but I guess it's... It's sinking in because this is like a hybrid between, uh, it's a tinted balm, so it's like skincare and makeup. So yeah, this is my full face of Nabla. I do love to do videos about Nabla. And yeah, now I'm going to record a brand review of Nabla. I think it would have been a super long video. I would have taken it all in the same. So if you want to see a review of the whole brand, uh, it will be up in a couple of days. I've, it will be my next video. So I do hope you have liked this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my other videos. And I hope that I will see you in the next one. Bye.